hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and to my series of the 12 days of Christmas. Today we're going to be doing two different DIYs. One thing that I found here from the dumpster and second we're going to be using just a part of something that I found out of the dumpster. So stay tuned and you'll see what we're going to be making. Okay, so for the first project, the things we're going to be using is some cotton balls, some rubbing alcohol, some Mod Podge, and then we're going to also use one of those foam paint brushes, some fine gold glitter, and of course we're going to be using some glue sticks, and then I'm going to be using some of that broken jewelry that I found out of the dumpster quite a bit ago, and I'm going to look through here and see if I can find a piece that will work well with our first project. Okay, so I found this box. I actually went dumpster diving today and found quite a few things. So be looking forward to a new uh, dumpster dive haul. I'll have that up soon. But I found this glass, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, this box of four glasses. And the reason it's showing upside down is because you can see the bottom's open. So that's the way I had to have it done. And actually, there's not four in here. There was only three because this one's broken but I'm gonna use another glass that I found while I was dumpster diving. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing today with these, well, first of all, let me take them out of the box here so you can see what they look like. They're just like little wine tumblers, and like I said, there was only three inside the box because the fourth one was broke. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these and we're gonna turn them into a candle centerpiece to go in the middle of my table when we have dinner on Christmas Eve. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take those glasses and I'm going to take the alcohol and the cotton balls and I'm going to clean each glass with the rubbing alcohol on the outside before we do anything else. Okay, I got all the glasses clean with the alcohol now and this is the glass I'm going to use for my spot on the table at Christmas Eve dinner. It's just a little bit taller than the other ones, but it's pretty much the same kind of round as in the same shape and the alcohol dries down pretty quick so we can go ahead and move on to the next step so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take that scotch tape and i'm trying to decide what design i want to put on my glass um i don't know if i want it to be just round here at the bottom or if i want it to be half because i've seen some pictures where it's kind of like slanted and i thought that looked really good because what i'm going to do is i'm going to tape it off and then we're going to add glitter because we're going to make these like glitter glasses. So I wanted to mark all my glasses um, with like an even line so we would know where we're going to put the glitter. I'm going to try to pick this up and see if you can see that. You probably can't see it too well but right here below my thumb there's a line and you see it goes all the way around and I want it to be extremely even and straight so you know it's the it's not all wavy the pattern that comes out and I did it on every glass and I'm going to show you how I did it which is kind of funny but if you guys end up doing this this is a really good idea I took this box here that I got from Dollar Tree and it's a gift box I just flipped it over I got this marker and I actually taped it down on the box and I got my glass and I put it in front of the marker and I just turned the glass like that and that gave me a perfect line. Like I said, you can't really see it because of the light, but it's like right there all the way around the glass. So now every one of the glasses is going to have the exact same line. Now that I got the glasses all marked, I went ahead and took that scotch tape and then taped all the way around that line. So hopefully we can get a really clean edge. And I did this on all four of the glasses. Okay, and now I'm going to take the Mod Podge and one of those foam brushes and start covering all the bottoms of the glasses. Now that I got the Mod Podge on, I went ahead with that gold glitter and covered the entire bottom of the glass. And as you guys can see, I have all four of the glasses done. And the glitter that I used was really fine glitter. You can see I actually did it over this plate. It's not the big chunky glitter, and I think it's really pretty. I think it actually uh, sparkles more, and it did a better job of coverage on all four of the glasses. Now I'm going to set these to the side and just let them dry probably for about an hour. It's already been about an hour, and I've let these dry. So what I'm doing now is I'm going back and putting a second coat of that Mod Podge on to seal in the glitter. 
uh, and that way it'll make sure it doesn't all fall off and you'll be able to hand wash it after this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other three glasses and then I'm gonna let them dry overnight. So I went ahead and let the glasses dry all night and I removed that tape and as you can see it gives you that really clean edge where the glitter is. So now I'm just going to go ahead and go through that bag and pick out a piece of jewelry to use on these. Okay so I went through the jewelry bag and I think I found a piece of jewelry that's going to work really good. This is the one that I found and it's you probably can't tell but it's actually got gold on the back and you can see it around the sides here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the taller glass that we did and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue that right there on the front and if you can see I think it's going to be a perfect fit okay guys so here's the finished project I think that piece of jewelry there on the front really made it stand out I think it looks real pretty it's real sparkly and I think the gold glitter on the bottom looks real pretty. And I have all four of them sitting here on this tray. And now let's add a candle and see what they look like. Hey okay, guys, so this is what it looks like with the candles in the inside. I did turn my overhead light on just to try to hopefully it's for you to see how much they sparkle in the inside. This makes a beautiful, beautiful centerpiece. So I'm definitely going to have this out at Christmas Eve when we sit down for dinner. I'm gonna to try to turn the main light off here just to see if you can see a little bit more of the sparkle in the inside. I'm not really sure if that helps a whole lot, but it is, it's very, yeah, if the camera is not picking up exactly how pretty it is, but I really love this one. And then for the second project, we're going to be using some more of those fiber cloth, or I'm sorry, microfiber cloths from the Dollar Tree and some more of the broken jewelry because I have a lot of like little loose rhinestones like this. So we're going to be using those also. If you watched my previous video where I did the pillow for the dog bed, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to take two of those microfiber cloths and I'm going to glue them all the way around and then I'm going to stuff it with um, that pillow that I had got from Walmart that I showed you on my previous video to make this into a pillow. For the second pillow I'm going to take just one microfiber cloth and I'm going to fold it in half to make um, a smaller pillow and I'm going to glue this one around this way. Okay now with the bigger one I have all the edges together except for the part where I'm going to put the stuffing which is here. I left this part open and um, I'm going to use this gift bag from the Dollar Tree because this is a snowflake. And if you can see, if you mess with it, you can actually peel the snowflake off. So now what I'm going to do, and I'm going to just use the snowflake as an outline. And I'm going to go in with some of those like gems, rhinestones or whatever that I found. And I'm going to start lining them up actually i'm going to glue them on top of the snowflake because i'm going to cover the whole snowflake with the rhinestones like this and then we're going to peel the snowflake off and put it on the pillow so what i did before i put the rhinestones on was i went ahead and i removed that snowflake and i centered it in the middle of the pillow here and now I'm just going to glue this in place and then start placing the rhinestones on top. Okay, so I just wanted to show you as I had a little piece of it done, how I, um, like I said, I glued the snowflake down and then I'm just gluing the rhinestones right on top of the snowflake. And I'm not trying to cover the entire thing. I did want you to be able to see a little bit of the outline underneath it but I think it's going to turn out really nice. Okay so the pillow's all done. I got all the rhinestones glued on and I actually used super glue to do the rhinestones because I wanted them to be more have a more like um, sturdy fix if you know what I'm trying to say or like a more permanent so it wouldn't um, like the hot glue you know sometimes it can bump up a little bit or they might just pop off and I didn't want that to happen but I think this turned out absolutely beautiful what do you guys think and now we're going to go ahead and put the filling in the second pillow and start working on this one 
with the second pillow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these snowflakes from the Dollar Tree. It's actually just like a real thin piece of foam, and they come in a pack with, um, I'm not sure, like eight or ten, several of them. And I'm going to glue that down right on the front of here, and then I'll show you what we're going to do after that. Okay, so this is what the pillow looks like just with the foam snowflake on it, and I already think it's really, really pretty. So if you don't have any jewels at home, this would be a really pretty easy pillow to make. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some of those same rhinestones, and I'm going to put some in certain places on the snowflake to where we can get it to match that other pillow. So I'm going to do that off camera, and then we'll be right back. So this is how the second pillow turned out. I did want to leave most of the glitter part of the snowflake showing. I just wanted to put some rhinestones around the edges and then one in the middle so it would kind of blend in and look like this. It went with this pillow and they would look like they came as a set. So I really like how this one turned out also. I'm very, very happy with the way these pillows ended up coming out. So that concludes today's video. I had a lot of fun doing these DIYs today and I think they turned out very pretty. I hope you guys enjoyed them as well. Make sure you guys leave me a comment and tell me what you think if you like the pillows or if you like the candle center piece. But either way, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Merry Christmas. Bye bye.